love me. Keeps on. Yeah. Opening doors for me. Taking care of me. Say, keeps on. Yeah. Taking care of me. Say, keeps on. Taking care of me, keep the open doors for me. Taking care of me, Sopranos. What you gonna say? Open. What do you do? Come on out, those keys. Y'all sound good. And what else he do? Keep the Yes, he did. Their own hearts. Just speak the word faithfully. Do it well. Be a servant to God. And if nothing else, be faithful. You will profit the people if you are faithful. The good news today is that you have been planted by a river. You have a change today, a charge today to serve in a field of wheat. Harvest is the wheat. Harvest is the wheat. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. Covenant United Church of Christ under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, has called Reverend Dr. Patrick Lamar Damon to be our senior pastor. Association has reviewed the request of Covenant United Church of Christ, and we have prayerfully examined Reverend Patrick Damon, and we are pleased to install him as your senior pastor. <laughs> Reverend Patrick, servant of God, we invite you to come down to this pulpit as a sign of your acceptance of the official call to this office. I am willing and I promise to continue to serve this ministry faithfully, preaching and teaching the word of God and daily remembering the word of him who said, when I was sick, you visited me. As I administer the sacraments and fulfill all of the obligations as a minister of the gospel, I will do so according to the faith and order of the United Church of Christ. We, the members of Covenant United Church of Christ, receive Reverend Dr. Patrick Lamar Damon as our senior pastor. We promise to walk with him in his ministry. We promise Eternal God, as we gather today to officially install Reverend Patrick L. Damon as our senior pastor, keep us all mindful that you called him to this task long before this day. And you instilled in him the perseverance, the strength, and the wisdom needed to serve in this role as pastor of covenant. We are grateful for everything that has led to this moment, and we look forward to everything that is yet to come. You knew, oh God, that the pandemic was coming long before we did. 
and you chose Reverend Patrick to guide us through one of the most traumatic times of our lives. We thank you and we praise you for the past five years that he has already served here at Covenant. We thank you and we thank Reverend Ozzy for giving us a pastor after your own heart. In the name of Jesus, the Christ, and on behalf of the Chicago Metropolitan Association of the Illinois Conference of the United Church of Christ, I declare that you have duly installed as your senior pastor, Reverend Patrick Lamar Damon. your uh, leadership and showing a great example for us. So we ask that you take this gift um, and we love you and greatly appreciate you. Reverend Patrick, I present you with this Bible and I thank you for your personal leadership, your church leadership. I've seen you work close and personal. You are the real deal. You are the real deal. On behalf of the officers, members, and ministers of Covenant United Church of Christ, we want you to accept this gift. We think it will cover a custom robe. God be the glory yes. for the great thing that God has done. Yes. Never in my wildest imagination many years ago when I started coming to Covenant, preaching revival, leading church-wide retreats, that I would be here serving amongst the people who I have come to believe are some of the greatest people I've ever encountered. I didn't know what Reverend Ozzy was up to all those years, uh, but he revealed it to me in due season. Though I didn't see it at first, once I consulted with God, God then revealed what was to be. And so I am thankful to God and I am thankful to our pastor emeritus, the Reverend Dr. Ozzy E. Smith Jr. Thankful for his leadership here in this vineyard for 24 years and for the blessing of walking with him and walking together, this wonderful staff that I have the privilege to lead. Thank God for. And that means that we don't do things for fame or for popularity or for prosperity, but we do it because it gives glory to God. I want to thank uh, this woman who stands next to me. So would you help me celebrate your first lady, Dr. Antonia Daniel. You bless your pastor when you celebrate the first lady and I want to thank God for my my second and my third heartbeat uh, my sons Benjamin and Bryce uh, who make me proud every day let's look to God 
And God, for all that our eyes have seen, all that our ears have heard, all that our hearts Take have care felt, of me. we thank you. Keep on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open doors for me. Taking care.